What's up, bullish friends? Hope you guys are doing well out there today. And uh, I was going to report this information over the weekend, but my voice, as you can tell, is still a little shredded. I've got some congestion going on, uh, some major, major congestion. And uh, it's been a couple wild days for me here. So I haven't been able to put out content like I want. I'm able to get the shot today, and hopefully I won't cough in your ear. But uh, over the weekend, it was so bad that I, I didn't even want to record the video. So I wanted to spare you guys from that. But I've got some crazy information to share. And right before I share this information, I've had a number of you um, ask me how to support the channel. You like the content and want to support it in some way. Well, I did add a buy me a coffee link now. You can find this below the video. Now, of course, you don't have to do this. But I make nothing from this channel right now. I'm just putting out content as much as possible. Uh, but if you do want to help, you can support the channel by going there. Click that buy me a coffee link and throw five, ten bucks my way or something. It helps. It'll all go back to the channel. I'm not using it to go off and uh, ride off into the sunset. I'm going to keep putting out content. So if you guys want to help, there you go. Um, so I, I've had a number of requests for it. So I just wanted to share that. Now, let's get into the story. So... Um, this was, I believe, Friday night. Uh, Constellation, uh, one of the um, a big supporter of Constellation, a couple of the person's wallets were hacked, and once those got hacked, they started dumping all these coins. So let me read you this. This is from this particular Twitter user that put this out. I will link to this in the description below as well if you want to go read this for yourself. Um, <clears throat> but he says, uh, you may have heard me rant again and again about the sorry state of cybersecurity and crypto. Several haps, hacks happened last night, some rather opaque and generic, others perhaps personally motivated attacks as the one in the constellation. This will happen again and again until we solve the fundamental problems of crypto. David Chom's dissertation of 1982 has the key in the title, mutually suspicious. Not your keys, not your coins, it's rubbish as long as we don't have secure DeFi. Will we ever? DAG and Block DAG are fundamentally a big leap in the right direction toward data security, so this wallet getting compromised is especially frustrating. Moving your coins off exchanges doesn't mean they are safe. Transparent platforms like Uphold, with big security, anti-fraud, and AMA ops, AML ops behind, are safer than exchanges where hackers and DGENs trade, and as we are seeing again and again, even safer on your unhosted wa wallet. Let's get to work and make crypto safe again. Now, here's what happened. So, um, Benjamin uh, Jorgensen, the CEO of Constellation, chimed in on one of the, I believe this is one of the Discord or um, Telegram uh, networks, uh, chimed in and let everyone know what had happened. He said the wallet that uh, dumped a bunch of ERC-20 tokens was in fact a hack on one of our community members' wallets. I will not disclose the identity, but I can confirm that it was one of our biggest supporters, and that person was completely hacked. And of course, once they were hacked, they started dumping tokens all over the on, on the exchanges and basically killing, like real quick, I'll show you this, like Constellation took a big nosedive. It's down under three cents now. Um, Alchemy was down uh, somewhere in the seven cent range when it took a big dip. And you can see these big dips on here when this occurred. Um, GeoJam took a big hit. Lattice. So all the coins that were on the Constellation network, when this wallet dumped, because it was millions of tokens just dumped, and it basically caused that big drop. So this was the update that uh, Constellation put out. Uh, we would like to inform you of a recent security incident involving the compromise of funds from multiple wallets owned by a community member who was a large holder of DAG, LTX, and other ecosystem tokens. The attacker appears to have gained access to two wallets on the user's machine, a Stargazer wallet and an unassociated MetaMask wallet. Large quantities of tokens were then moved through various channels to exchange them for ETH. As confirmed by the user, the attacker gained access to a Stargazer wallet and a MetaMask wallet installed on their personal laptop. These wallets contain a large number of, of DAG, LTX, ETH, ADS, uh, JAM, and BIO tokens. The apparent first action taken by the attacker was to unlock the user's uh, VLTX 
two LTX. All ERC20 tokens were swapped through Uniswap, and DAG was sent to um, Exolix in a multiple, multiple large. Uh, I can't. That part is cut. Oh, multiple large transactions in order to swap for ETH. So basically, <clears throat> they they hacked uh, this person's laptop and then just dumped tokens like crazy. Uh, causing the basically causing these big crashes in price which i mean ultimately i feel i feel awful for the person this happened to because that that's awful i mean some people might not recover from losing that many tokens or that much cash um basically that they had banked up and stored up so it's sad and sucks to see and it also hurts the network uh, which I'm a, you know, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Constellation and everything they're doing and, uh, and a lot of the protocols that are on there. So it sucks to see and it's definitely a painful thing for the community. But it does remind me that, you know, it's important for us out here in the crypto space that, you know, number one, nothing is 100% safe. It's impossible to make everything 100% safe, but it's critical that you have multiple wallets on multiple machines. And as much of a pain in the ass as that is, it will help you in times like this. And this person, who knows, this person might have multiple machines with multiple wallets. They obviously had two wallets on the same machine, which isn't unheard of. Um, but having as much uh, diversity in where you have your crypto stored is, is critical. And it's, you know, and again, there's nothing that's 100% safeguarded from this. Um. So yeah, so anyway, that's I'm not going to read the rest of that, but basically it's uh just a, a terrible situation and uh it, it hurts the whole heat ecosystem and I hate to see this kind of stuff, but I wanted to let you guys know cuz I know a lot of you guys come to this channel to get some updates on constellation and things like that. Sorry guys, that's my cat in the background meowing, but um the I know a lot of you guys come here to get these updates and I just wanted to share this information in case you guys saw all the price drops and didn't understand what caused that. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and as always, I will see you in the next video.